Yeah, so this is like the minorest of minor trades you can go out there and talk about. I don't even know if that's a proper grammatical sentence, but the Montreal Canadiens have traded goaltender Michael McNiven to the Calgary Flames in exchange for nothing. Going over onto the press release on the Flames website, it is for future considerations, so it's McNiven for whatever the heck. It's McNiven for a favor. It's McNiven for the goodness of his heart. I don't really know what else you could go out there and say. But Michael McNiven is no longer in the Canadians organization, and this is a pretty interesting kind of conversation to be having. Mostly because the last time we had spoken about Michael McNiven, it was in a video four months ago talking about how he was upset with the Canadians. This video goes over how he was upset that Caden Primo was getting more starts, and that he had been doing everything the Canadians had told him to do, and that he really wanted to see his development path push forward, but none of that happened. This video was talking about the comments that he made. I forgot where they were. You can go ahead and watch the video if you want to see it. But pretty much, there was an interview that he did where he said he was pretty upset with how he had been treated by the Canadians organization and his development. Well, now he's in another organization hopefully going to get some more development there, but honestly, I kind of doubt it, because if you take a look at Michael McNiven and his stats this season, I mean, there's a reason this guy wasn't really considered as a top NHL option. If you take a look at everything, I mean, look, one game played with the Canadians, a 9-0-0 goals against and a 5-7-1 save percentage. Sure, he came in relief and he wasn't great, but still, that's not too desirable in the slightest. He had 11 games played with Laval this season, a 404 goals against, and an 869 save percentage. So even though he wasn't really that great, he's going to be going over to another organization to hopefully get himself a fresh start. Now, there were some problems here too, because when you talk about Montreal and, you know, the lack of opportunity, the other goaltenders that were here that were not giving him a chance to actually go forward with his development... Montreal has, of course, Carey Price, Jake Allen, you have Caden Primo, and you have Samuel Montembeau, not to mention Andrew Hammond, too. A good chunk of those guys are injured, not playing right now, but whatever. You go over to Stockton, the place where Michael McNiven will be suiting up now, and you do have yourselves some pretty good goaltenders here, too. Dustin Wolf is the big one. He was the absolute phenom in the WHL for a few years, and he's been taking up the majority of the starts in this system, too. Not to mention Adam Werner, who is a pretty good depth goaltender as well, who has been getting some significant playing time. And so, my conversation here that I'm bringing up is that if Michael McNiven was super ticked off about his Montreal Canadiens development time and the amount of games that he would start, I'm not too sure if going over to Calgary is going to help his chances at becoming a full-time NHLer. You have Mark Strim and Vladar up top, you have Dustin Wolf, Adam Werner, and all these other guys over here in the AHL, and Michael McNiven is going to have to climb up the totem pole to get past every one of these guys if he wants to even have a chance at sniffing some NHL action this year. He had a 9-0-0 goals against average for crying out loud, and there's no real defending that. So Michael McNiven has been traded from Montreal over to Calgary. You might be able to just look at this as another addition to the Tyler Toffoli trade. Oh, it's Toffoli and McNiven for that package of a first round pick and Heinemann and all that stuff. So goodbye, McNiven. Hopefully he's going to be able to go out there and actually progress in the way that he feels comfortable with and wants to, because our last update said that he was not doing so. So, let me know in the comments all your thoughts about McNiven getting traded. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, bye.